Hey, how's it going? I wasn't originally gonna make this uh, a video, but I figured that it was easier to explain um, via video and, and go through that way along with the guide that I have in the description below. Uh, that should give you everything that you need to produce this project um, with a little bit of your own creativity. I'll explain throughout uh, what I had and repurposed so I didn't have to make. Um, that will be the bits that you need the most creativity for. So first and foremost, this is my rain barrel system. Um, it starts all the way up there with the gutter guards, which we'll explain in a second, uh, the downspout stuff, the emergency refill here on the side, all the fittings underneath, and then uh, the overflow system. So first, these are two 55-gallon uh, uh, drums. You're going to want to make sure if you get drums, they're food grade, they didn't have oil or anything like that, especially if you're going to water your plants. Um, you could honestly use trash cans or anything you want uh, with a lid. I chose to cut mine off and then reseal it with waterproof sealant, uh, sealant tape, the same thing they use for pools and things. So it's completely up to you. Um, but let's just start at the very beginning, which is the gutters. So it's a little difficult to see, but up there, there are gutter guards across the whole top. You're going to want to make sure you do that all the way so leaves or debris do not get down uh, into your system here. Uh, I just repurposed. I just put that right on the existing uh, gutters and then the downspout uh, right after it turned. I actually uh, did remove that first piece there so there's no cutting involved. Uh, put this adapter so what this does is allows any debris that do happen to get up there uh, they'll hit there the water will go through and then come out the side that's what you want. Uh, then that went exactly into a uh, downspout uh, extender that kind of like goes like an accordion and that goes directly into uh, your intake grate for the barrel. In the description I've put this intake but uh, what you're going to have to do is cut a hole that exactly fits that size uh, to make sure that you get going inside. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see down in there but if you can see down in there um, there is the female and male adapter cut into the bottom. So uh, we'll give you a bottom side view of that. So this is underneath the barrel system. So the barrels are up here. Um, you can see a good view actually right here of those adapters. So uh, you cut a hole in the bottom with the hole saw right. Um, these are two inch pipes. Um, you'll see in the, uh, the description, I've put those in there. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure you silicone the heck out of it. Um, that ensures that you have a good seal um, and, and go from there. On the bottom side down here, you can see that uh, there is some zip ties and even uh, an L bracket that I have going there. Uh, the reason why I did that is because um, you can't hand tighten down those adapters all the way, so it does leave a little gap um, that you have to silicone. And so putting that just extra piece of stability up there really helps uh, not rely on the silicone uh, to hold the whole pipe in place. Now everything about this setup is sort of over engineered and that's kind of what I love about it. But I did put these unions here so if you did need to detach this um, and take apart this system as best you could, you could still do that. Um, there's a T up here, a, t a two inch to inch and a half that goes down into another T that's inch and a half. Um, you've got your, your brackets here, um, you've got the ball valves, uh, I also uh, put in, glued in a adapter to a hose, um, and that's just so I can use the hose on this side if I want, but then over here I have a bigger inch and a half uh, straight from the ball valve to fill like a bucket or something faster. Let's go over here on the side, so this uh, adapter piece that I put over here, um, you know, just cut a little hole, drill a hole in the side, put that there. I put a quick release on here. So if you want, it's just that easy. You just push this, let me, let me do that again. So this is actually a pull, my bad. Um, you just pull that back and then the hose comes straight off. Quick release, again, pull it back, push down, release. Your, your hose will go right on there as soon as it locks like that. It's really important to use thread tape from there down there make sure you no leaks that's the goal uh, anywhere on it if you get water in your system and uh, you know the silicone is leaking underneath you got to make sure that you cap that off otherwise um, you know your whole system is going to drain the overflow so let's talk about that for a second you saw that underneath here um, so this is the overflow that comes down 
uh, and up here. So basically what you're doing is that pipe from the overflow will come all the way up the top and it sits right about in here, which means if that water keeps coming and it fills up all the way, that it has somewhere to go, not just over spill out the top. Um, then I've got actually the piece of eaves trough that, uh, that uh, the downspout rather that I took off the side of the house I repurposed here just to go out and away um, the water was coming right here and but it was starting to you know cut out some of my fence so let's talk about how the water equalizes in both sides um, because you did have that back uh, fitting so that adapter here and you run it straight across that goes to the adapter that goes up to the other barrel up there What that does is obviously as the water increases up here. Uh, it's going to uh, using hydrostatic pressure like basically just even out based on if your uh, setup is level. So as the water rises on one side, it'll ensure to rise exactly on the other side. And coming down into a T into your valves here um, ensures that when you open it, it actually drains both barrels at the same time, not um, you know one or the other, which could create uh, a balance issue. Super important that you put the entire system. So this table was repurposed. I just happened to have a prep table. Um, so I just put the side braces, you you can see I use, chose to use brackets with deck screws. You could also use lag bolts, which might be better. Um, then I put some treated two by fours on the side just to stabilize the whole thing and put them on the cinder blocks. That's hugely important. When both of these barrels, just two barrels are full, you've got about 460 pounds, a little over eight pounds in a gallon of water. So there's an awful lot of weight on just the ground. If I was to redo my setup, I would have probably built a French drain there. If you don't know what that is, look that up. Um, um, and gravel everywhere um, to just get the water out. Uh, that would have been better. Probably still gonna potentially do that at some point actually um, because it is, you know, technically like, I guess you could call it decoupled from the top. So this whole system could be moved. There's nothing holding it to the gutter system because that's just sitting on top. I got my barrels off of Facebook Marketplace. I just looked, searched, uh, you know, plastic drum or um, you could do uh, plastic barrels, rain barrel. It just depends what the seller, how they posted it. Uh, but again, make sure you get food grade or uh, message that seller and uh, find out exactly what was in those barrels. Because if you're gonna be watering plants like we do, the garden, um, you, you don't want to, uh, some oil or, or anything like that in there that could be harmful to your plants. I put a splitter off from my house right there um, so I can run that system and it just has a valve over there so I can turn it on and off um, so I can run other things but then if I turn that valve it will turn the emergency fill on. So um, I'll be honest this roof that I'm sitting on here is probably that's probably like uh, geez, probably like 25 feet there, um, and goes probably like 20 some, 22 feet uh, the other direction. So half of that is all that I'm using to correct, uh, collect water rather. Um, there is a mathematical way to figure out how much rain it would be collecting based on how much precipitating. But let me just tell you that if you have a even moderate rain so beyond a sprinkle it's actually properly raining you can i fill this entire system up uh within an hour so if it rains more than an hour this whole system is going to be filled up if, if i was to redo it again besides just the gravel i'd probably put at least two more barrels on um, the water level that you're looking at right here is after it's been probably like three days since it rained at all uh and i have to had to fill it up a little bit based on uh the watering needs that i have so this is the setup. Hopefully you guys like it. If you guys have questions, leave it in the comment section below. Um, I have included all of the recommended tools, the parts. I used Lowe's and Amazon, which tended to be the cheapest uh, places to find everything. So I just tried to do that for you. Hopefully this helps you out. By the way, I'm sure I forgot something, so don't uh, crucify me in the comment sections uh, as people see this video. Um, did, <laughs> did my best. Sorry I didn't film it when I put it together. Uh, it is a, a bit of an investment to be totally honest uh, if you don't have any of the tools It's definitely much more of an investment, but if you have some of the tools that I've listed in the description um, You should be good to go if you have things around your house repurpose like remember a rain barrel system is meant to be uh, conserving a resource here so um, you're, you're capturing that rainwater and putting it to good use uh, it would be uh, 
it would be considerate of you as well, uh, since you're already being considerate with using the rainwater, uh, to use and repurpose things around your property or things that you have. So do that first and foremost. It doesn't have to be the prettiest thing in the world. You know, this thing was kind of my prototype. Prototype, if I was to do it again, maybe I would worry about cosmetics a little bit, but it sits back behind my fence, corner of my house. Um, I don't really care, to be totally honest. So with that, see you later.